Alright, so welcome back again. So in this wonderful tutorial, we'll be trying to see how to save an uploaded file in Streamlit. So some time ago, we saw how to upload files, right? How to work with file uploads in Streamlit. Now let's see how to save that file to a particular directory. So let me show you what we're doing. So if I come back to my app here, so this is my app. And if I check this app here, if I open it here, so this is the location of the app. There is nothing here, right? There's nothing inside here, as you can see. And then let me show you it again in this particular place. So this is a temporary directory where the file is running. So how do I save a file, right, which I've uploaded? So let's try it. So I'll come back and I'll copy an image for my music. Yeah, the image is inside music. And I'll paste it here. If I paste it here, it's going to upload the image, right? And then it's going to display the image there, right? Very nice. It's going to save it into our file. So if I go back and I check my directory, which is here, you can see that the image is there. As you can see from here, we have our image being uploaded there, right? So let's try another one. So I'll come back again and I'll copy a different image. So let's copy this image. I'll go back to the app, our app itself that we are working on, and I'll upload that particular image. So if I upload this image into my app, this is a new image altogether, as you can see. It means I upload it, this is coming out as a different image. This is an image itself. Then you can see that this image is different. And if I check my temporary directory file, we have the uploaded file there not only just for images we can also work on csv files so if i go back to the sidebar and i copy to the, a data set right so i'm going to be uploading a data set as you can see from our app there is no csv file here right you can see that there's no csv file in this particular location right so i'll copy an a csv file from here right then i'll upload it on my app I'm going to analyze it it's going to give me the csv file and if I check it here, you can see that now we have our CSV file being uploaded. So that is what we're trying to see how to add that particular feature to it, right, to our app, right? Very simple and very cool. So it's file saved to temporal directory. So let's see how to do that. So we will not be doing everything from scratch. We'll just be talking about the save file saving aspect because the whole it's going to be too long. So let's check it out. So I'll go back to the app itself. It is the app that we are running and I'm going to close this app, right? I'll close this one it from this place and then we will just get out of this place and then we'll create another place that we will be working on so document so i've moved into a particular folder called saved file upload file there's nothing there so i'm going to create my simple app.py file right and then we're going to write run write some stuff there so i'll paste in something very basic then you work on how to save the file so i'm closing the old app so let's close this one out because you're no more using it. We have stopped that particular app. So let me position back beside it and then let's write it out. So let's start. So the first thing that you need to do is that you need to create a directory that you'll be placing in your app, right? Where you'll be saving your app or be saving not your app, but be saving the uploaded images. Right. So I'm just going to go back to the app.py file and to save us time, I'm going to copy and paste the skeleton of the app there right so this is going to be the skeleton of the app so this is something very simple and something very busy so what we need is uh, just important streamlet right and then your important pandas to help us process cds uh, csv file image to help us load our image and you have created a simple function so there's a whole tutorial on working on a file upload so what our app is having two main sessions the home session which is going to have the image right which we are uploading right and then this was something we talked in the in depth about it very simple so that is something simple. Then this is just to help us check the type. You can just comment it out and let's load our app, right? So very simple. All that we are doing in this app is that we are just using the st.file upload to upload a file and the file type we are accepting is PNG, JPEG, and then JPG, right? Then we are storing it inside this image file. And then you are saying that if the image file is not none, I want you to get the details of the image file, right? The file name and then the file type you can also add a file size to it then you're going to write the details and you're going to load it into our function using pillow this particular function here and you're going to preview our image something very simple so let's test this up so i'll go back to the location of it right and run it like streamlet run app.py so we are running this particular app so that is something very basic i want to this is just something we have been doing over and over again to save us time then for the csv we also use the same thing so we are calling that data file st.file uploader we are uploading a special type of file called csv if the data file is not none i want you to get the details of it like above 
then use pandas to read it and then show us our file that is something very basic this is very very simple very basic stuff so our app is opening by now so i'll just copy this url copy this one and paste it inside my browser so by default it's going to use my default browser which was chrome which is mozilla but let's use chrome because chrome is cool so this is the app that you are working on this simple app right so everything is working as expected now how do we add the saving to it how do you add the saving if i paste in an image here let's pick the same image and i paste it how does it work right so if i run it like this it's going to process it and then it's going to show me the image right loading the image every part of the app is working but it's not saved anywhere it is just in memory within the within streamlet it's not saved anywhere so how do i save it so it's very simple i come back again to the app itself right and this is how to do that as you know the type of this particular one is a file type right it's a file like object like byte io so you can just write it as a file so if i check this one out like this let's go out and go with this option so with this how to save it right? let be with right os let's open this file so with open now passing the image file so image file dot name right then i'm writing it as right byte as f then from here i can just go straight away and then write it so i can just go with my f dot right i'll pass in my image file right dot get buffer that is all so that is how to save it right so this is going to allow us to save that particular file so let's come back and do st dot success the file saved right something like that so let's save it and let's go with always run now if i come back again to the app itself and let's look at our directory right if i go back to the directory here let's check it out you can see that the image has been saved here as you can see right that's been saved here let's check it from the directory this is where the app it if i check it see that the image is there right and it's perfectly working well if i go back to where the app is so side here consider now it, is, it has been saved in the current directory in which the app is running right very simple so that is how to that that is the secret behind it right or that is the secret all you just have to do is just go with this option this idea i got from randy right one of the founders of streamlet right you just go with this option to so open the file right image file this image file is coming from the uploaded file here right and you want to get the name of the file the actual name so that it doesn't use a different name so the file name is this file name here which is the name here uploaded then you are going to write it with this option right there's going to save it in our location now in case i want to save it into a directory that i want how do i do that so i can come back to the top of my file and we are importing os right import os to help us with it then i'll just come back again to the same place then use this particular part so we're going to create my own part i want to use so we can just go with this os dot part dot join then i want to save it inside a directory called temp dir directory right this can be a diff can be any name so this can be any name right so it can be any name you can just give it any name temp directory temp folder anyhow then this is going to be the file name right so it's going to store this particular file right with this particular name into this directory right there's a basic understanding behind it right so that is all that we are doing so this option right so open join this particular stuff right so it's going to be something like this it's going to save it in the directory called temp directory slash the image name right something like that right dot whatever the Im image file is that's how it's going to be so where's the path right then this particular image here is the second one that is something very simple so the same thing we are doing so if i run it i have to create this particular directory so i have to go back and create a directory here so this is a directory you can use your terminal to create it so you have a temp dir right to create that particular directory so now it's going to find a directory then save the file there right save the image there if i check it out now there's nothing here but if i run it again it's giving us an error so let's face the error so let's close it again and face the error so let's save it so let's face the error the error is this one it's supposed to be this option right yeah because this is together this entire stuff is together as one and then this is there right I save it and i come back to the app itself the app is working 
So let's upload another file. So let's close this one and then let's upload a different image. So the image is already there already. <laughs> right, very cool. So let's take it out and try it again. Come back again to my music. I use a different image, upload it into my app. Uploading the image, giving us the details, giving us the image, the file has been saved. If I go back and I check my directory, the temp directory, so now our image is there, right? Very simple, and very cool. So that is how to save an image, right? Or to save any uploaded file. So let's try it for a CSV file. So I'll come back again to the app itself and we create a function to help us with that. So this is how to do that. So let's create a function to help us with that to make our work simple. So let's call this one as function to save, right? Function to save uploaded file to directory. So this is going to be a simple function. So dev.save uploaded file right i'm going to give the uploaded file itself uploaded file then with open os.path.join this is the temp this is going to be the directory so temp directory you have to create this directory don't forget that is the first thing right then i'm going to specify the name so it's going to be uploaded file.name remember this is coming as a byte io file so we are using the file name Dot name to get the actual name of the file then i'm going to open it as read byte so it's going to be read byte as f right then i must, I must write it f dot right then i'm going to upload write that uploaded file dot get buffer this is the secret so the secret behind it is this particular function allowing you to write it just like how it was right the same details everything there then i can let's use st let's return something return st dot success right this from streamlet then i can just go saved file then the file name into directory something like that so just good you can use a string for this format the uploaded file name right something like that so that is a very simple function you have created so we are just opening this particular directory and then writing to that particular directory on, on this particular file the same file name our file right that is something very simple so let's apply this simple function on our next session which is the data set how do we add it to this so it's already within that csv so let's go back again and check it out if i open the app to the sidebar here i go back to the home to the data set whereby i can upload a csv file so this is it so let's upload a csv file so i go back to my music yeah where well, that's what i'm storing if i check it there's no csv file here if i upload this csv file here because we have not applied the function it's going to load it process it show us our file as you can see but nothing is being saved here right so to allow it to be saved there i'll apply our function on it so it's very simple so the function is saved uploaded file and i'm passing my this particular file right copy this one and then paste it here that is all now if i go back and i check it out it's going to see the changes right and if i check my directory now it is there right very simple so that is how to not just upload a file but save it so the secret is just to use this simple feature right this option here that is how to do that that is all right so we just created a simple function to make our work easy so you can copy and use this function as much as you want so that is how to do that in a very simple way. let's try a different data set so i come back again and i'll pick a different data set from somewhere else but i'll pick this fake data set from the previous app that we did and i'll upload that fake data set here so this is our fake data set then if i go back and i check it out says saved file as this place if i check my temporary directory we have our fake data set there so thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next session Stay blessed. So the basic idea of what we did was that we just use this option to help us with that, right? That is the secret behind it, right? So we'll see you another time. And don't forget to check the links below for some interesting stuff. See you. Bye.